Hey everybody, welcome back to Auto Scholar with Mr. B. I'm Mr. B and today we have this 2017 Jetta in our shop. It belongs to a friend of mine. It is equipped with the 1.4 liter turbocharged engine direct injection, uh, automatic car. And uh, he was on a trip in it. And unfortunately the car went into limp mode with absolutely no throttle response or anything in it. I told him to bring it to me and we'll see uh, pretty much what's going on with the car. Found that it had a P1558 code in it, which is uh, for the throttle body. So I went ahead and took it apart and I found something pretty interesting. And I'm gonna show it to you guys today because this is actually a problem that's starting to become more and more common on these uh, 1.4 liter engines. So the throttle body is what regulates the air intake flow into the engine. And this one's electronic, there's no cables. Uh, there hasn't been cables on many cars for quite a while, but we found that this throttle body had a mechanical problem. It wasn't an electrical problem. And basically the throttle wasn't able to snap shut when it was uh, supposed to. So the car recognized this as a problem and it put the car into limp home. And now the car has absolutely no throttle response. So let me take you over here to the car and I'll show you what the throttle body is doing. Okay, so first thing you need to do when you're inspecting the car for this issue is after you've already got the, the 1558 code is you're going to need to take this off right here. So we're going to unplug our map sensor up here. It just has a clip that holds this plug on. And then right here, you see those two clips right here. We just pull those out. Do this very gently because these are plastic for some reason. And you want to pull both out, and pull this off. And then you have two clips here by the throttle body. And then this will come out. You have this right here, which is kind of a pain in the butt. You got to squeeze this and pull this off. And then you'll get down to your throttle body. So this car only has 45,000 miles on it. And I thought this was pretty uh, interesting that this throttle body failed so quickly. And what has happened is the throttle body itself, the return spring and the throttle body is broken. So I shouldn't be able to do that. See, I just took the screwdriver I push this over. Uh, when I do this, it should spring back like it's supposed to. And so the return spring in this throttle body is broken. And I've looked around and I haven't seen another issue like this happen, at least diagnosed online. So I want to make this video and show you guys. So what we're going to have to do is take this throttle body off and replace it and then use our scan tool to reset the throttle body adaptation. And then after that, uh, this car should be good to go. So let me go ahead and show you the new throttle body and show you what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so this is our new throttle body here. And as you can see, if I'm pressing this, it springs back, okay? So the other one, the spring was broken in it. This one is going to spring back. And they do that for safety reasons. So if your, th your throttle, if it loses power or something, it's just going to shut. Now it's not gonna shut all the way. Uh, it is going to allow air past here just a little bit, probably enough to give it about 1500 RPMs of power. And this is part of the limp home system. So this right here, if your throttle body, if you press it and it doesn't snap back like that, it is bad and you need a new one. There's no fix to this that I can see. Uh, and when I get the old one off, I'm gonna take this apart. The spring is probably somewhere in here and it's probably broken. So this is the big problem with these and I just talked to the guys at the dealership. They said they have seen a few. So I think this is going to be an issue coming up soon. So let me take you over here to the car and show you what it takes to get the old one off. Okay, so there are four bolts that hold this on. They are T30s, Torx heads. And then there's a plug right here. You're just gonna press this down and pull out. Just check this for any corrosion. Make sure there's nothing crazy going on in here push it off to the side and then you're going to re remove those two, three, four T30s. Uh, just use your quarter inch uh, extension and a ratchet and once you get those out it should lift right up. Okay I went ahead and just took this air box out just to give me a little bit more room. I don't know if you really have to but so once you take these four bolts off it'll come out there's a ring around it it'll come completely out that way you don't drop anything. And then this, this lifts right out. Now, remember when you're tightening this back up, this is going into plastic. So you do not need to over torque it. Also, there's a seal here we're going to replace. Uh, if you see any oil or anything like that, it's pretty common on these cars, so don't worry about it. 
and uh, let's go ahead and get the new throttle body stick it on and then after that I'm going to try to take apart this old throttle body and show y'all exactly what I'm talking about with this return spring. Okay so we got new throttle body installed make sure that you put everything back exactly how you found it. Also make sure when you're tightening these bolts just make, take a very gentle touch with them. They're almost like wood screws and they're screwing directly into that plastic. There's no metal retainer or anything in there so uh, be extremely careful. Make sure that you plug this in until you hear the snap, and then you're good to go at uh, going ahead and reassembling everything else. Just remember, everything on this car is plastic and is brittle, so be extremely careful. Okay, so here's the old throttle body. Go ahead, went ahead and take the cover off. This is where your position sensor and everything is for the throttle position, and it has this that rubs up against that. It kind of tells the computer where we are throttle-wise take this uh, relay gear off here and underneath here there's a spring I don't know if you can see it but that spring is broken see where that spring is broken right there all that's supposed to be one piece so this isn't this is causing the throttle not to go to the return position which is definitely a safety issue this is like your throttle return spring on a carburetor and that's what's broken on this one so uh, there's no way to fix it. We have to replace the whole throttle body. And that's ex exactly what's going on with this P1558. Okay, so that about does it for this repair. Don't forget, you also have to go in with your scan tool and reset the throttle body adaptation. So uh, that's a pretty easy five minute thing to do. But after that, you should be good to go. Go ahead and clear out your codes and that 1558 shouldn't come back. If you like what you saw here, please uh, consider to like the video and of course subscribe to the channel. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, VK if you're in Eastern Europe. I put a lot of content there that I'm not able to put anywhere else. So just hit me up there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I try to get all my questions in the comments, uh, but you know, sometimes I get a little busy. So we'll see you next time on Auto Scholar with Mr. B.